100% Chelsea, Chelsea 1, Frankfurt 1, Chelsea progressed to the Europa League final, 5-4 on penalties. I'm here with Nat. Thoughts on the game today? It wasn't a really good performance, was it, to be honest? Um, midfield today wasn't strong, but the whole team performance wasn't strong today. From the defence to the going forward, there was no creativity, and it's been the same problems that we had at the start of the season, we've still got at the end of the season. Nothing's been changed, we still have 10 corners, and we can't beat the first man. OK, we saw an improvement last game, but where's the improvement this game? We're still not beating the first man. Where's the improvement? Creativity. You take the goal scorer off, and you bring Barkley on. Why don't you take Kovacic off? Kovacic didn't offer anything to the game at all, and you should have took Kovacic off over Ruben. I think if, if, I, if I'm trying to get in the mind of Sari and try and figure out why he did it, I kind of think maybe it was because of how much... Frankfurt were trying to take him out. I mean, the first half, I thought Frankfurt were all over him because of how good he was in the first leg against us. The one chance they actually gave him three, he actually put in the net. I think maybe he was being taken off to protect him because of how much Frankfurt were going out for him, but that's just me nitpicking. I still think Loftus Sheik should have stayed anyway. Yeah, but I think there's only, what, two games left. Even if we may not have reached the final this evening because of that, but at the end of the day, the midfield, as soon as we've taken Kante out and now you take Ruben out, the midfield doesn't look strong. Another person today, Eden Hazard, was nowhere to be seen all game. When he did get the ball, he wasn't producing what he should do. This is Europa League. Next season, when we play in the Champions League, if he plays lights like that, we won't win games. And at the moment, the reason we're scoring is through that. And also, our Europa League top scorer, Giroud, he didn't offer God anything to as his man said. Um, we d he didn't offer anything. Service, he normally brings the ball down, feeds it off. And Higuain didn't offer anything when he came on. I thought the whole attack was poor. Oh, whole attack before. Poor, but Arsenal in a final. Always going to be lovely. But could ruin their Champions League hopes. Could ruin their Champions League hopes, but we've got to be realistic as well. Are we going to win that if we play like that? No. No. I mean, it, it just says, for me, I don't want to look in the final in a negative way, but... I feel like it has shades of 2017, like when we'd won, when he'd done well in the league, so our minds focused off the last game, and United you know, dominates us, I mean Arsenal dominated us in the cup final. I just want to hope we don't go into the final the same way we went into the FA Cup final a couple years back. Yeah, and I think as well, we've played them in quite a few finals now, and we haven't produced. We've, we've got to look at the statistics. Sorry, it's never won a final. We've been up to a final this season and already lost. It's not looking positive, and if Arsenal win, you're never going to hear the end of it. To be fair, yeah, but it's the only way they're going to make it into Champions League. We've got our own missions to do, but where do you think we improve next season? Because that was the last home game at Stamford Bridge. What would you like to see different when you come back in August? Well, personally, with the transfer ban up in arms, we need to see looking at out on loan, bringing some forwards back, hopefully having three strikers next season instead of two, so we have more options going out. 